Welcome to another episode of You Cooking with Me, G. Uh, I'm a cooking duck today. <laughs> well, now I can voice over the rest of this. But we're starting here. This is where the video is starting. Here. Now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're just gonna get into it and it looks like we're working with a four to five pound duck today and It's already featherless for us. So that's a plus uh, We're gonna cut up our vegetables first before we season or do anything else. I Know a lemon is a fruit but oh, Don't 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 pay attention to the sticker. I left on there. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna roughly chop them because they're going to be placed around the duck for for fragrances for aromatics and all that so that's why I'm including this the core and and just not overall just not caring about how how it looks how, how even these chops are like I said rough chops the lemon is going inside the duck and later garlic will as well garlic cloves to obviously provide more juices more seasoning more fragrances for the duck to absorb we're gonna season this duck with salt heavily season it with salt if you think you're putting up too much put a little bit more <laughs> we're gonna put garlic powder I know we're gonna put garlic cloves inside it and beside it but garlic powder never hurts Black powder, black pepper. I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> We're gonna put a, a black powder of sorts. So I separated, off camera, I separated the skin from the the breasts from the top. So they're 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 separated, so it gets that nice a nice crispy skin. And I'm seasoning the inside of the breasts with salt and pepper because they're add a residual salt and pepper on my hand as well. So why not season the insides as well? So you don't want those flavorless. Wash my hands in between because I gotta hold these seasonings, and you know you gotta be careful. You can't be spreading salmonella everywhere. Again, I'm going to be getting these seasonings inside all of the orifices. And to reiterate, heavily seasoning with everything. Obviously, we are not going to be making this duck turn a completely different color, but heavily seasoned. I do recommend using one of these pans and not a sheet pan because you can keep more of the juices in it because it will release a lot of juices, a lot of fat. It is duck fat after all. Now we're moving on to the garlic cloves that I mentioned earlier. We're gonna smash them to make it easier to peel. I don't know if everyone knew about that, but at this point I assume everyone in 2022 knows. <laughs> and we're gonna put some of the garlic inside of the duck like I mentioned earlier and around it. That's just, this is what it should look like. Somewhat neat, all of the ingredients touching the chicken, ready for it to absorb all it needs to. And that is the temperature we're gonna be having it at, at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we should be good to go. Now we should be good to go. <laughs> for one hour and 20 minutes on both sides. And this is about halfway through. As you notice, I burned myself. So maybe wear two oven mitts next time when you do it. Like, ouch, seriously, it burned a lot. Anyways, this is what it should look like. A lot more brown and the everything looks a lot more mushy, you could say. But, uh, pause. It's going to be a little bit weird flipping it. 
You can flip it, grabbing it with tongs if you really don't want to grab it with your hands. But you could, it, it'll, it'll be complicated, but you could grab the wings there and flip it and be careful not to splash yourself. It can be complicated, but if you have silicone mitts, you can easily just grab the chick, the duck by, you can easily just grab the duck with the silicone mitts and flip it just as just as easy as that but now back to our scheduled program and here's the final product after the remaining time is up 40 minutes on both sides because that was 80 minutes one hour and 20 minutes crispy crispy outer skin everything really sucked itself up looks like all of the juices made its way out of the duck but not only that it absorbed all of those seasonings and and it stayed really juicy all the way through not a single bit of it dry the onions have completely melted basically the the chicken just wanted to give away the the drumstick was no problem to take off it's just a lovely drumstick it was really easy to take off and all of the meat we used I used all of the meat, and it was just um, easy, easy, easy. It, it did not take long to take it all off the bones. And we were left with all of this goodness that we can reuse as as stock or just as uh, if you let it congeal as, as duck fat. If you remove all of the onions, you can use those onions for something else even. But th as you can see, I prepared my lunch, and I hope you have too. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.